So book two of Sophie, Sophie in the Shadow Woods is called The Swamp Boggles. And in it, Ugg has decided that he can't fight Sophie on his own, even though she is just a girl. So he recruits some really horrible shadow creatures. And really, that's what happens then in the next few books. He goes on to recruit all these creatures to see if they can defeat Sophie when he can't. Um, so, Lee, what are the Swamp Boggles like? Oh, the Swamp Boggles are horrible, squelchy, wet, nasty creatures. Um, who, when Sophie tries her flying taekwondo kicks on them, she just sort of hears a oomph noise because her foot has just gone squelching into them. So she can't hurt them very easily, which turns out to be a real problem. How are they going to defeat them? Um, just have a really short scene to read you about what the swamp bottles are like. Sophie saw something just ahead of her moving through the gloom. She caught her breath. It was a shadow creature, but it certainly wasn't an ink cap goblin. It had greeny brown skin, enormous bony hands hanging by its sides, straggly wisps of hair that looked like pondweed, and slime dripping from its toes. The guardian powers were throbbing through her, making her feel strong and powerful. Hey, you! she shouted. Mr. Bony Hands! The creature swung round. It was a head taller than Sophie and wore scraps of raggedy clothes. A swampy stench like the smell of rotten eggs billowed towards her. You, it said in a burbling, slimy voice. The girl who's the new guardian of the gateway. Yep, that's me, declared Sophie, folding her arms. So the swamp mm. boggles are really horrible creatures, and they're great fun to write, and that's one of, I yeah. think, for mm. me, one of the most fun things about writing the series. Definitely, that different creatures. Inventing all these different creatures, and, and how to defeat them. Now, every creature mm. has a weakness, and the swamp boggle's weakness is if you dry them out, then you can actually hit them and punch them and kick them and have an, a, an impact on them rather than just squelching into them. So Sophie and Sam, one of the things they do, we're not going to tell you all of them because we can't give the story away. <laughs> can't give the story away completely, but one of the things they do is decide to use hair dryers. So yeah. this dries the swamp bubbles out. Now, if you've ever done any acting or you like playing Let's Pretend or you like doing role play, then why don't you try being Sophie and Sam trying to defeat the swamp bottles with hair dryers and with taekwondo moves, which is like kickboxing. So lots of kicking, spinning, jumping in the air. Don't hurt each other. I there. Say that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, maybe the swamp bottles should be imaginary. There should be a chair or something, not each other. And then also you could do another scene. One of the things that Sophie and Sam are very good at doing is using anything that's around them. So if they were in the kitchen, they yeah. might use... Uh, frying pans so, yeah, exactly. or mixing bowls or anything they could get their hands on. So maybe you could make up your own scene where Sophie and Sam are fighting a creature you've made up and think about how they could defeat them. Yeah. So, And if you do, if you do any videos, send them in to us. Otherwise, maybe draw us some pictures or, or write us a description of them fighting some of these horrible creatures. We'd love to see it. Yeah.